Welcome to today's video where I'll show you how to set up RetroArch on your Xbox Series or your Xbox One. The first thing we need to do is head over to Online Updater. We're going to update everything in this section. Then we proceed to change the interface of our RetroArch. For that, we head to Settings, User Interface, and we change it from Ozone to XMB. We close RetroArch, and we open it again. Now, we need to change our input, hotkeys, Menu toggle, we put L3 and R3. We save the current configuration. And now we need to import our games. For that, we need Durango FTP on the Xbox, which is this app right here. We hit start, and on our PC, we're going to open up WinSCP. We change the protocol to FTP. The name is going to be X Xbox. We can use Incognito. Connect. Now we need to locate our RetroArch folder. In this case, it's local folder. Golden Fox. Local state. In this area, we're going to create a new folder called Games. Now we need to create more folders of the systems we're going to emulate. For example, I want to play some PS1 games, some PS2, and GameCube. Then on our computer, we're going to select the hard disk where we have our games. And we select the games we want to play. If you want to play some PS1? Open up your PS1 folder on your Xbox and drop the games there. Same thing with PS2 and GameCube. We head back to our Xbox, stop this, go to RetroArch, we go to Import Content, Manual Scan, Content Directory, it's the last one, Games, GameGive, scan this directory, in system name, we're gonna put GameGive in here. Default core, we change it to Dolphin. Start scan. Same thing with the other folders. This one, this name, PlayStation. Default core.
Dog Station, I like it more than Beetle. Start scan. For PS2. PS2 and default core, PCSX2. Start the scan. Now we're going to have our games in here. For example, we open up Mario. And it's gonna look like this. We press Alt 3 and R3 to open up the menu section. We head over to options and increase the resolution of our game. Set it to 1920. And the game is gonna look more crispy. But you can add custom textures. For that, we head over to this section right here load custom textures and if you want to have some cheats as well we 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 enable cheats then we save the current configuration we close retroarch open up durango same thing protocol FTP, Xbox. Now we head over to local folder, Golden Fox, RetroArch, local state. We go to saves, user, load, textures. We locate the textures on our system or PC. Now the texture folder has to be named the same as the game ID. And we send our files to our Xbox. Now that we have our textures loaded on our Xbox, we open up RetroArch again. We start the game and it should run with our custom textures loaded. If for some reason it doesn't load with the custom textures, you head over to options, enable load the custom textures, go back and hit restart. Now we're going to dump our BIOS on our Xbox. For that, we head over to local folder, golden fox, local state and system. In here, we're going to drop our PS1 BIOS. And for PS2, we're going to create a folder named PCSX2 and another folder called BIOS. In here, we're going to drop our PS2 BIOS. Then we head over to our Xbox and we open up RetroArch. Now we're going to upscale the internal resolution for PS2 games. For that we click run once it loads we're gonna go to options and internal resolution either set it at 720p or 1080p as for ps1 games we head over to options Enhancement and internal resolution set it to 1080p. We also can use shaders 
I use shader slang, windowed, and jing2 slang. We hit apply. After that, we save as core preset. And that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys like it, and I'll see you guys later.